Hey, what's up guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to this new review video. Now, I said, I know I said we're doing two uh, five minute gun reviews a week. I couldn't make it out to the range this week, I'm sorry. I had a lot of products sitting here on the desk that needed to get reviewed though, so that's what we're gonna do. This week is gonna be a, a week of reviews, then hopefully next week we'll be back on that five minute gun review grind. So today we're talking about the Streamlight TLR3. Now, I believe this is Streamlight's uh, most inexpensive light, most affordable light, coming in at $70 on Amazon. Uh, and I mean, that is, it's, it's pricey for a weapon light, but for a Streamlight, I think it's, it's super affordable. Uh, if you know anything, you know, if you know much about, about weapon light, Streamlight, Surefire, and stuff like that, kind of have a top tier name. Uh, most of them are ranging like 100 plus pretty easily. So when I saw one for 70 bucks, I thought it was a pretty cool find. There's also some interesting things about this one in particular. So let's talk about the technical specs specifications of this little guy. First up is uh, it puts out 125 lumens. Now I have to say I wasn't super impressed by that number. You know, I, I, I would imagine a Streamlight to be putting out a lot more than that, um, especially for a light that's this size, you know, it's pretty big and robust. But I guess one of their big claim to fames, right, is that uh, the, the light it lasts forever, right? Like it can stay on for a long time. You can take this thing well, like I think it was 30 meters underwater, it's IPX7, uh, and it'll still run, you know, like this thing is just going to run and run and run into the ground. It's super durable temperatures. I think it said like negative 30 or something up to, you know, like 100 plus degrees. So this thing will really run in any situation, which I think is, is a lot of what Streamlight is known for. Um, so anyways, 125 lumens, eh, it can run continuously at uh, 125 lumens for one and a half hours. Length and weight on this guy, it is 2.7 inches long uh, and the weight is 2.3 ounces. Now that is extremely light, I think, for a weapon light. I mean, when I first picked this up, I thought I still had to put a battery in it. That's how light it feels. And the reason that uh, I think it's such a big deal on how light it is, is because it can actually fit on subcompact guns. You don't find many weapon lights that'll actually fit like on this XDS, for example. Uh, you know, like the, even the O-lights and stuff that I've reviewed, they won't fit on this. So as you can see, we can get that thing locked in there and then it's just got a simple screw here, which is only supposed to go to hand tight. You can use a coin or a key to tighten that more. But uh, yeah, that thing is fully locked on there. So really nice little setup. And uh, the fact that it's only adding 2.3 ounces is a big deal for a gun this small. It really does just kind of help even out the feel of the gun. It adds a little bit more weight up front. So it's kind of giving you that compensator feel, uh, but it's not weighing down the gun, right? Let's talk about mounting this thing. As I mentioned, there's just a screw right here. I like how it's toolless. You can just use your fingers and unscrew this thing. Uh, and then once you want to tighten it down, it does say to not over tighten, just use a coin or a key. Where the rail fits on, it's actually got a spring right here. So it, it feels really like it grabs hold of the rail really quickly and easily and positively. You're not wondering if this thing's gonna come loose while you're mounting it. I still prefer something like how Olight mounts where it's just like a, a latch that flips over and just locks it into place. But uh, you know, this is fine. Once it's on there, it's certainly on there. Now let's talk about how to use this thing. On the back here, there is a paddle with two little options on each side. I'm gonna mount this up so it makes a little more sense. So I'll mount this to this M&P Pro. My hands are extremely sweaty and you guys make fun of me when I wear gloves. So I'm trying not to wear gloves. So once you're mounted up, you've got a paddle on this side and a paddle on this side. So while you're holding the gun, you've got your finger here you've got your thumb here. Now the paddle works both going up and going down. So if I push my finger up, I get a momentary on. If I push it down, I get a momentary on. But if I push it down really hard and hold it down, I've got a constant on. Same thing with the thumb, and it's just opposite. So if I go up, I've got momentary on. If I go down, I've got momentary on. If I go up with force, I get constant on. And then just flip it off there. I'm gonna mount this onto the XDS once again so you can see so that's how it looks on a subcompact gun, and this is probably about the smallest size gun I'd recommend using a light on, like this on, because, I mean, you can see it's got a pretty big footprint and kind of defeats the purpose of having a small gun if you've got a huge light attached to it. Uh, but overall, I think it's, yeah, 
I think it's great. So to wrap up, quick pros and cons. Pros, it's extremely light, it's extremely durable, it's extremely simple. Uh, you know, that's I think that's one thing you're paying for with Streamlight is that you know it's going to work. They've been around for a long time. It's not like one of these, you know, cheap Chinese flashlights you got off Amazon or something. Like this thing is is reliable, it's dependable. No matter every time you hit this, I know it's turning on. You know, no matter how many rounds I put through this gun while it's attached, the shock of it I know is not gonna mess with this battery with this LED because they have such a good name behind them. I think that's one thing you're paying for here. Uh, in addition, the simplicity, you know, just touching it, you don't have to worry about, am I on low mode? Am I on moonlight? Am I on super bright? Am I on strobe? Like you just turn it on and it's on, period. Um, and then weight, as I mentioned, you know, putting it on small guns, the fact that it can mount to subcompact guns is awesome. And the fact that it's only 2.3 ounces is a big deal. Moving on to cons, uh, I wish it had strobe. I think that's a big deal, you know, in tactical situations. I think strobe is something important that you, that you should have. I think that's really the only downside I have, maybe price a little bit for 70 bucks. Uh, but as I mentioned, you know, you're getting a really reliable, good, long lasting light. So anyways, that's my review on the Streamlight TLR three. This review was for my uh, Patreon subscribers. They wanted to see a good tactical light. So this is what I picked up with the money. If you want to help me decide what's to review each month and then possibly win those items in a giveaway at the end of the month, like I'll be giving this away to those Patreon subscribers, uh, check out the Patreon. That is linked down in the video description below. If you're interested in the TLR3, that will also be linked in the video description below. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you next time on Greenlight Shooting.